God damn it, AMD. All right, I guess I have to explain my anger right now. So I was playing Lost Judgment, my favorite game of all time. And I thought to myself, you know what? I might as well, you know, let Windows 11 here update the fucking drivers. Because um, I know AMD recently released a, a new driver for, you know, for the graphics. And with this new release, they finally included support for fluid machine frames. Initially, it was just in beta, but now it's actually official, which, you know, it's cool. And, you know, something else that's pretty cool is the fact that even though they initially said that Full Emotion Frame was exclusive to uh, to the 7000 series, I have a 6000 card. Clearly, I can use it. I think that's great. There's one problem, though. And um, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you exactly what the issue is. Inactive. Please use DirectX 11 or 12 API. Now this is a fucking problem. Now to explain what I mean by this. So I made a video talking about fluid motion frames and the conclusion that I ended up reaching at the end of it is that I think that the best use case for this technology is emulation by far, like by far. Because at the end of the day with PC games, like yeah, I guess you can use fluid motion frames to, you know, fake the illusion that your game is running smoother but honestly more often than not there are better ways to optimize your game to get higher frame rates that honestly especially for competitive games you may actually be better off with using things like upscaling you know re reducing the graphic settings because at that point at least you don't have to deal with things like you know motion artifacts um input delay and stuff like that but with emulation, because emulation, you know, uh, optimizing e your performance with emulation is a bit more nuanced because a lot of times, because you are emulating older hardware, some of that could, in could eventually result in some games. You may not be able to, you know, increase the frame rate as you want. F games may be locked to 30, which a lot of them are. And even if you can find a way to increase the frame rate, it might actually it, it might result in the playback speed of the game to increase as well, to double the frame rate if you're running a 30 FPS and 60, something like that. So I thought that fluid motion frames was a great solution for this. Because it was. Yes, you do have to deal with the drawbacks of interpolated frames, but honestly, if it allows you to increase the frame rate and you know with the expectation that this technology would get better over time it was a good thing it was a promising thing but this please use direct x11 and 12 this essentially means that emulators which a huge chunk of them don't use direct x they use vulcan they can't really use the technology and the thing is they AMD did actually at some point provided support for Vulkan in one of their in one of their beta drivers. Like initially, I don't know with the first driver. I know with the second one, which is the one that I installed because it's the one that came with support for the six thousand series RDNA two. That one didn't work with Vulkan. It just did not work. If you try to play a game that had the Vulkan API, it just wouldn't work at all. But then they released another update that did actually allow compatibility with Vulkan. I, in my experience, it seemed like it was working about as well as it did with DirectX, which ends up making this really confusing. But yeah, like, man, this is a bummer, man. Like, like aside from PCSX2, like, what other emulator I know uses DirectX? Um, also, one other thing, um, AMD with this new driver, uh, they, they, they added a couple other things. For example, you can record videos at 120 FPS. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, but one thing that they introduced was image upscaling in browsers. Now the thing is, Nvidia already had this and I guess AMD was trying to do the same thing, which is cool. Um, if it can allow you to upscale the image when you're watching YouTube videos or something like that, or if you're watching Crunchyroll, I don't know. Uh, I think that's pretty cool, you know. Uh, granted, you know, I made a video all back showing that you can do that with your own GPU with open source technology, but you know, th though admittedly what I was using is a little bit graphically intensive. And um, the solution that NVIDIA at least had um, involved using their AI accelerators, at least that's what I assume. And honestly, I think it might be the same with AMD because at least right now, 
only their 7000 series card can actually use that technology. So 6000 series, you can't do it because um, I'm not entirely sure, but I know that um, RDNA 3 cards have extra AI accelerators that RDNA 2 cards don't have. So, um, yeah, honestly, that's kind of a bummer because the thing is, one of the main issues that I've, that I've always had with NVIDIA cards is the fact that it felt like they, like whenever they release a new generation of cards, they always come up with, you know, interesting technology, but that interesting technology only really works with their recent cards. Things like DLSS, only working with 2003, uh, 2000, with 20 series cards, with 30 series cards, and same with ray tracing, um, to some degree, um, and... With AMD, what I always thought was cool is the fact that when they did come up with, you know, competing technologies, even if they weren't as good as NVIDIA, the fact that they allowed that stuff to work on all cards, you know, was cool. I think that, I think that's the main event. Like, to me, at the end of the day, NVIDIA will, for me at least, I feel like NVIDIA in terms of the tech that they produce and the software, I feel like they're always going to have an advantage over AMD. But the benefit of AMD is the fact that they tend to make a lot of the stuff open source and work with other stuff. So I think in some ways... I think that both should exist, but, you know, right now, if AMD doesn't have a solution for upscaling videos on browsers without having to rely on their latest cards, then at that point, it's like, I don't know, it kind of defeats the appeal of AMD in general. It's like, but I don't know. I, 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 I don't know what, I don't know. I don't really know what to make of that. Obviously, I feel like it's a lot more complicated than that, but I don't know. I'm a little bit disappointed, but it is what it is, I guess.